Hi, today we are going to learn about INPD sample questions, pharmacology. Question 1. Actions of epinephrine when administrated intravenously in a high dose. Action of epinephrine when administrated intravenously in a high dose. Causes bronchialar constriction, increases liver glycogenolysis, uh, hyperthyroidism, increases in gastric motility answer increases in liver glycogenolysis the actions of epinephrine when administrated intravenously in high doses are increase in liver glycogenolysis evokes the extra systole in the heart produces restlessness and anxiety increases the blood pressure so answer increases in liver glycogenolysis question 2 which of the following relaxes the skeletal muscle by acting on cns which of the following relaxes the skeletal muscle by acting on cns diazepam dopamine atropin and metoprolol metoprolol answer diazepam Anti-anxiety drugs depress the post-synaptic pathways in the spinal cord and the brain. Examples of the drugs are diazepam, mefobromate, chlorodiazepoxide. So answer is diazepam. Question 3. The drug which has a potent analgesic, antipyretic, anti-inflammatory action is ibuprofen, aspirin, Di diclofenac sodium nephopalm the drug which has a potent of analgesic antipyretic and anti-inflammatory action so answer is aspirin equivalent to aspirin has an effective analgesic and antipyretic agent is acetaminophen differs in that it lacks an anti-inflammatory properties diclofenac is more potent than Aspirin. Aspirin is taken as a standard for comparison of analgesic, antipyretic and anti-inflammatory properties. So the answer is aspirin. Question 4. The long term use of aspirin causes decreased platelet adhesion, hyperthyroidism, bleeding defects, thrombosis. Answer. Decreased platelet adhesion. Aspirin is in a small dose irreversibly inhibits TXA2 synthesis by platelets. Thus, it interferes with the platelets aggregation and bleeding time is prolonged to nearly twice the normal value. The single low doses of aspirin that is 80, 81 mg daily produce a slightly a prolonged bleeding time which doubles if administrated intravenously continued for a week that is coagulation the change is due to irreversibly inhibition of platelet cox so that the aspirin is anti-platelet effect lasts for 8 to 10 days the life cycle of platelet the life cycle of platelet is 8 to 10 days so the aspirin will be uh, act as an anti-platelet effect the aspirin can cause a mild degree of hemolysis in individuals with a deficiency of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. So the answer is decreased platelet adhesion. Question 5. Which of the following general inhalation anesthetics is indicated in children? General inhalation anesthetics is indicated in children. Lignocaine, seboflurin, thiopentone, methoxyflurane. Answer sevoflurane the sevoflurane is a clear colorless volatile liquid at room temperature and must be stored in a sealed bottle it is non in non flammable and non explosive in mixtures of air or oxygen the low solubility of sevoflurane in blood and other tissues provide for rapid a rapid induction of anesthesia Rapid changes in anesthetic depth of following changes in 
delivered concentration and rapid emergency following discontinuation of administration it is widely used practically for a outpatient anesthetic because of its rapid recovery rapid recovery profile it is well suited for inhalation induction of anesthesia that is particularly in children because it is non irritating to the airway induction of anesthesia is rapidly achieved using inhaled concentration of 2% to 4% CO fluorine so the answer is CO fluorine thank you